Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for boron trichloride. So here we go. Uh, boron trichloride is going to be BCl3. And that's going to give us uh, three valence from the boron plus three chlorines each with seven valence for a total of 24 valence electrons. Okay. And we can subtract out the largest multiple of 8, which in this case is also 24, giving us a remainder of 0, and that being 8 times 3, meaning that you're going to have an essential atom, AX3, A being the central atom, and 3 surrounding atoms with no non-bonding electron pairs. So let's go ahead and draw this structure real quick. We've got boron in the center, boron in the center, uh, and 3 surrounding chlorines. So let's go ahead and single bond all of them together and then fill in each of the chlorine's octets on the surrounding peripheral atoms. So now we have 8 electrons, 16, and 24. So that should be our final structure. Let's go ahead and draw the, uh, or check the formal charges to make sure that this is correct. So the formal charge on boron is going to be 3 valence brought in minus 1, 2, 3 bonds minus 0 non-bonding for a total formal charge of 0 and now we can check the formal charge on each of the chlorines and they all have the same setup so the formal charges should all be equal um, seven valence brought in minus one bond for each minus two four six non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero on each of the chlorines so multiply that times three and then sum all those up it's still going to be overall formal charge of zero which is exactly what we need because this is not an ion, this is a non-charged particle or compound, all right? So that's very good. Um, now we can talk about the shape real quick. There's three surrounding atoms and no non-bonding electron pairs, so that means this is going to be a uh, trigonal planar shape, okay? So trigonal planar, and when you have a, a trigonal planar shaped uh, molecule or compound, the uh, bond angle should be approximately 120 degrees okay um, if you look at the central atom which is the boron in this case there's one two three bonding sites which means you're gonna have sp2 so one s and two p's for the hybridization and uh, because in this case that there's all three chlorine surrounding they're all the same atom their their separate dipole moments will cancel each other out making this a non polar compound. Okay? That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.